TCG fans, I want to go by this quick. We got about 16 cards to go over, maybe plus, uh, that it might be have to be referenced here. So we're going to get into some older cards that are idiomatic. They're all, almost all faction cards because they are going to help a faction or only go on fa certain factions only or certain characters only. Very idiomatic cards uh, that I've, I've made in the past that I've been kind of twerking, tweaking uh, and fixing and retexting, re uh, correcting texts and stuff and whatnot. So let's get right into it. The, the first two are identical. Uh, I don't know why I still ha have these. Uh, one Chuck did, one I did. When Chuck, and Buddy and I were all making our three eight-star iron hides, uh, one ended up not being eight by accident because um, mine was a leader and a specialist. I remember that. Um, I also made... I think mine is the armored artillery cab. I think Chuck did the artillery cab. Um, so I, I remember, I, I think I remember going with the alliteration, I think. Uh, they're both exactly the same. I think Chuck and I came together. We were like, oh my gosh, we almost made the same card. So we did make them the same card and added a star as well to boot. Uh, put on iron hide, iron hide only. So it's a nice orange pip, uh, to go with your orange decks or any decks to go with your iron hide characters that is going to take a star and is also going to give two health to any iron hide and one defense and pierce two all at the same time autobot headlights is a black pip utility i'm king of the utilities that was my nickname 2021 i'm sticking with it uh that's going to give plus one defense but it's also this can only go on autobots only and it gives pierce two while this is on an Optimus Prime, your other characters have Focus 1 while in alt mode. Uh, I've thought about bringing the Pierce down to 1 maybe in case we need to, especially if you do have uh, are using this with, say, uh, Galaxy Prime from Wave 4 that can wear three utilities. My goodness, you get three Autobot headlights on him, um, he's going to have Pierce 6. And then you're going to be able to give Pierce 3 to your other characters in alt mode. Excuse me, focus three to your other characters in alt mode. That's ridiculous. Um, but it's nice, but I, with this in mind, I think I can understand why, okay, Buddy made extra measures, okay? Uh, outside card number one. Um, extra measures is a card that's an armor that doesn't sound like it has an armor name that opens up another utility a slot that you so you can play util, utilities it works just like oh gosh is it defensive measures then the defensive counters um, it's on the top of my tongue orange pip um, utility that allows you to wear two armors and then you have a shoulder holster that you know when you know reveal a card of the top of your deck, if it's a weapon, you can, uh, you know, play it, and then you, it, it opens up another weapon slot, and the other one, a defensive something, it can open up a, a, a second armor slot on your character. So there's that. So think, um, and after making the Power Masters, I realized, hmm, maybe I understand why Wizards did not make anything like Buddy's extra measures because it might be too problematic for anybody to be able to wear two Power Masters at the same time because I knew they if they ever did those, they would all have to be utilities um, because a lot of the other Battle Masters, whether they were Target Masters or whatever, of course, everything's a Battle Master when it comes to the card game anyway, is that um, <sighs> slow down, okay. Is that it's problematic when you when you're able to put two power masters on one character at the same time, especially after how I've made them. When you have high test and throttle, uh, who I sort of made thinking about Dreadwing. Of course, Dreadwing can wear any two power masters. Uh, it just can't be just them. Um, so. You know, if it has, you know, some uh, 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 one of us, you know, flip white, orange, black, flip one more, flip two more, and then uh, four battle, and then you have someone else on there also that says, you know, when flip 
uh, at least orange orange flip two more or one more well if you're flipping orange orange white orange uh, white green black you might as well be playing with raffle but <laughs> um, then you can flip three more or whatever add up those cranks and you're gonna have to keep up with that and have your deck made in a certain way and you know really churn that out and get those double white pips etc built in too so you may not have a large orange pip deck if you're doing that so I think I see some intricacies here that seems to work um, but at the same time could be problematic with if everybody has that ability with something like extra measures sorry buddy I'm not I'm not down in you it's just it's just the card itself um, it, I just started thinking I'm like wow you know the, this is interesting uh, so and you you know do something like Autobot headlights and you have three Autobot headlights on general Optimus Prime if that's pier six and focus three for your other characters and all that so um, in Oh, I, I, and then if you have an extra measures uh, for his armor card, you can have something else on him too. And it's like, ouch, you know? Um, who knows? Uh, the, the general populace if, if, that are still playing the game with the ARC and the ATP guys, they, of all the cards they're banned, they've probably definitely banned that character. Uh, Way 4 Prime, I wouldn't be surprised. So Cargo Gunner is an orange pip. Um... Oh no, Autobot Shield is next. Orange and white pip upgrade armor with plus one in defense. Put on Autobots only, yet again, so it's an Autobot faction card. When the equipped character defends, reduce pierce by one for each blue pip flipped by your defender. So whoever is wearing this, use a blue deck. Now, it's you're only gonna be able to reduce pierce by one by what you flip. So, you know, you got stable cover, which can, you know, it's a nice uh, secret action that Nix is all, all total pierce for the most part. And I've made a few cards kind of similar. I'm going to have to turn the air on. I am hot next to this one. Um, so, you, you, uh, you know, having a nice blue deck with Autobot Shield, this could be one of your white cards. And I gave the plus of having it an orange pip card, also white and orange. So, it's, you know helps to be defensive on the action, aggressive on the flip. Uh, while it's on Optimus Prime, he gets plus one to attack until end of turn. So the, the shield is gonna give Optimus one defense, one attack, and be able to defend and, and, and shave off uh, that total pierce with blue pep cards. Or any Autobot that is wearing this as well. Now we can go on to Cargo Gunner, which is an armpit, ar armpit, orange, Pip utility card with plus one of defense. So, and uh, this needs to be an Autobot card because I have Autobot, I have Optimus Prime in here. When you put it's when you put this on a truck, do one damage to each enemy plane. If they're not playing planes, that ain't gonna trigger. While this is on an Optimus Prime, he has Pierce one until end of turn. So. This, um, while it shows as a, it's a rare card, it's only kind of a rare card because it has a double effect like an armed hovercraft. If your uh, uh, opponent happens to be playing all planes, but then they also have to be in plane mode. Windsweeper, and we have a few others that, you know, and base cards, changing characters into plane traits. So, you know, if, you, if you're playing your characters, and you playing mostly Autobots, there's a base card that you can play that's gonna give your characters, uh, especially in bot mode or any mode, the plane trait, and it, and it can do the same to your to your opponent's characters. And if they're in bot mode, boom, they also now have the plane trait, play Cargo Gunner on a truck in, in, in truck mode, boom, 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 it acts like an armed hovercraft. Uh, while this is on an Optimus, he has Pierce one until end of turn. Fun things coming. Uh, Claw. Claw is a blue pip utility with one plus to attack. Uh, and it can only be put on 19 star uh, characters and above only. When you put this on a melee character, you may tap an enemy that is 10 stars or less. Um, tap and 
Kappa 10 star or less enemy. Um, I'll leave it like it is. I, I get, I'm trying to think of how it would look better and sound better on, on the card, but anyway. While this is on Scorponok, he has Pierce 2 until end of turn. So I know we have some Scorponok cards that came with Scorponok when Jamie uh, was, was doing that with the Ark uh, a long time ago. So, but this is just sort of add into it. It's, you know, the, the claw is going to give Pierce to Scorponok. It's going to give uh, plus one to anyone wearing it, but only your, nine, your 19 star uh, characters and above are the only ones that, that are going to be able to equip this. But if you put it on a melee character and a lot of our combiner characters, a lot of the Titans are even melee characters for the most part. Uh, maybe not all, but most of them. So you're, you might be able to get some tapping, uh, tapping your enemies, as long as they're not one or two tall. You know, that some I'll put this out on Facebook, and people are like, "Oh my gosh, that's too strong." Well, it all depends on what your opponent, your opponent's playing. Okay, and we have cards that can untap your characters that are ten or ten or less uh, uh, stars. Go back to wave one. A uh, clobbering time armor. This is the one I was talking about at the top of the video with uh, is the take I'm thinking of. It is a uh, white and black flip pip. Two stars because we got a lot going on on here. It's a weapon armor upgrade with plus two to attack, plus two health, and one to defense. Bold one and tough one. Originally this had pierced. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this should be a three star card with all this. But it can only go on clobber. I made a Decepticon clobber card based off the uh, the Cyberverse off of his uh, or her uh, box, and it was the, the the one character that introduced me into using Paint 3D to start doing a lot of stuff I've been able to do now. So um, this can only go on on clobber, not just mine. If anyone else has made a clobber, hey, you can use it as also, but it does take two stars. It's a little stronger than the Ultra Magnus armor, but because it can only go on one character, and the Ultra Magnus armor can go on Autobots, I kept this at two stars and not three, and I took the, the, that extra pierce off. So there's that. Now, Cranium Crush has been updated a little bit. Blue Pip Weapon uh, that gives Bold One. While this is on Ramjet and he attacks, Scrap Two upgrades from the Defender. Now, originally this was Bold Two and Scrap Two, Upgrades if when uh, Ramjet is uh, has this equipped and he attacks. So I, I brought down the bold one. It's it's still an uncommon card for what it is. Um, so and when when he when he attacks, you can sc scrap two upgrades from the defender. If the defender only has one upgrade, you scrap one upgrade. Okay, if they have three upgrades, you can scrap two upgrades. Um, so, and that's before you flip, okay? That's before you flip. Uh, put this on Ramjet, tapping for attack, scrap the two upgrades, and then you you flip for attack, they flip for defense. Uh, Dark Reflection is really neat. Now, uh, it's an orange pip, and I added the green pip on here because this is an, because Emergency Barricade is one of the, the nicer cards uh, and if I was able to get in circles and really just play this game with people or online or whatever, I'm sure we would still see Emergency Barricade being played with the game, despite all the new stuff that we have from, uh, you know, Bayformers, Energon Hustler, and the Ark, and ATP, and everybody, or me and whatnot. So I'm sure people are still using Emergency Barricade because it's plus three to defense. Pierce can still get to defense. It is a card that has to be scrapped because it's got that max number of three. So uh, this is an upgrade armor with uh, orange and green. And I added the green because this is an emergency barricade. Not This is not always going to be triggered. Um, so while this is on a prime, he has plus one of defense for battle. So Optimus Prime, Nemesis Prime, Sentinel Prime, Bumblebee Prime. If someone's if the if the character has the name Prime or his last name is Prime, they can get two <laughs> two defense off this for battle. Uh, when the equipped character defends against a Prime, it has plus one in defense and reduce the attacker's pierce by two. Then scrap this card after battle. Originally, I did not have scrapped the card after battle, but once I realized, okay, 
uh, one defense for the card, two defense for the prime, uh, three defense if you're being attacked by a prime, if that is a prime at wearing this, then boom, that turns into to defense of three, like emergency barricade. And then you're able to reduce the total pi attack pierce by two. So I'm thinking, hmm, this needs to be scrapped like emergency barricade. So once it reaches that point, so, you know, while this is on a prime, you're going to get two defense. You get to keep the card, keep going. Okay. Uh, anybody can wear this and get the plus one and then get plus two to defense and reduce their pierce if they're being attacked by a prime. If Even if dark reflection is not being equipped by a prime. But then you still have to just scrap the card after battle, just as it says, for that line. All right. So there's that. Dark Saber is less complicated than it used to be. It's still hybrid orange blue with a black pip. It is an upgrade weapon with plus three to attack. This is a star card. Put on Decepticons only. So Pierce three, attack three. So it's like a fusion bore, but wait, there's more. When the equipped character defends, reduce the attacker's flipped pierce to zero. Scrap this card after battle. So Thought another lizard was getting in here. Um, so whether you're using this like a, a fusion bore with a, a, a pierce three, attack three for attack, scrap this card after battle. If you have put it on and you reduce your attacker's flipped pierce to zero, not total pierce, flipped pierce, you still have to scrap the card after battle. Okay, um, so just because if a character has pierce on the character, pierce on a, a on an upgrade, pierce like calculated strike on the action card, Dark Saber is not going to reduce that pierce to zero. It's only going to reduce flipped pierce. The black pips flipped by the attacker attacking your uh, character equipped with Dark Saber. So think of it, you know, blocking using the saber to block the pierce as it comes at them. Okay, uh, so, so gosh, yeah, I, I gotta turn on the air. It's it's, uh, it's boiling. Drill Happy is is uh, the second card that Chuck did when we were doing our uh, Iron Hides. It is white and blue. Yes, that is the mercenaries. Re no, wrecker symbol. Wrecker symbol. Um, and it is a, kind of a, a general blue pip plus two weapon, so it's plus two to attack with Pierce two. While this is on an Autobot, it has bold ones, so your grapples and any other Autobots can get Pierce two, two to attack, bold one. While this is on an Iron Hide, it has Pierce one, and then scrap this after battle. So only because, um, and I've, I've thought about. If this, uh, uh, this might be the best way to do it. Uh, even though it's not a fusion bore, it just has that possibility of getting bold one off of, because it can go on anybody. It really can. Uh, it's not Autobots only. So anybody can wear this and get Pierce to attack to as a simple white pip weapon card, which is neat. So I like that. Um, so something to think about. Electrostatic Disruptor, White Pip Weapon, plus two. Uh, you know, Chuck did Drill Happy. Uh, electrostatic Disruptor, I've, got, I've done and I've gone over many times. White Pip, uh, plus two weapon. When the equipped character defends, you may move up to one damage from the equipped character on another character you control, but not enough, not enough to KO it. While it is on a Mirage, you may move up to two total damage, but not enough to KO it. Um, so this is not two different lines. This is all one blurb. Okay. Um, so basically whoever is wearing the electrostatic disruptor can move one, one damage over, uh, uh from the character to another character. Um, and since it says when the equipped character defends, this is going to have to happen before you flip. So if they don't already have damage, you can't move damage. You can't do this after, you can't do this after the battle, which I think may have been my original intent. 
I think that was my original intent here, but um, you know, there, there's that. So, you know, when he defends, if he's got damage, you can move one over. Um, so maybe I should have put, you know, after the equipped character defends instead of when. But that's what it is, and I haven't changed it, so we're just going to leave it just like that. Uh, floating Throne is a favorite. I really like Floating Throne. It makes anybody a leader. Black Pip Armor, plus one in defense, and Tough One. While this is on a Megatron, each of your other characters on your team has Focus One for battle. Uh, which is basically the, the anti-version of uh, Autobot Headlights. Except Autobot Headlights, that only gets triggered if it's on an Optimus. Uh, floating Throne, it, you can only get the also the same thing. You can only get the focus from Megatron. But while this is on any character, it now has the leader trait. I like that. Fusion Flame. Okay, these is part of the, the Cyberverse cards that I was making. Going and, when I was at the store and taking pictures and making cards out of the pictures off the boxes in the store. Uh, I did not buy these characters. Um, Black Pip with the Autobot symbol on it. So only the Autobots are going to get the Flip Pierce. And it's an armor upgrade with plus two, de two defense. Uh, put on Autobots only. While this is on a hot, hot rod with a weapon equipped and you play an action card for turn. I've had to work, work this text a little bit. So it's been updated if, if you... Uh, looked at this or, or tried using this before. Uh, while this is on a hot rod with a weapon equipped and you play an action card for turn, it gets plus one to attack until end of turn. So if you were using this card on your turn, you need to put Fusion Flame first on hot rod, play your action card next, and then it will give him plus one to attack until end of turn. Fusion Mace is similar, but I didn't go with the same same route. A, a, a blue pip upgrade weapon plus one to attack. Here's one. Anybody can wear this. So kind of like in the same line as... I thought I was hearing a wasp hit the, a wall or something somewhere. I got to turn the air back on. Um, so th th this is a little lower so it's pierce one attack one anybody can wear it uh as a blue weapon uh weapon card while this is on a megatron and he attacks equipped with energon he gets additional pierce three for battle then scrap this card so if you got fusion mace anybody can wear it but if you have this on a megatron and he has on my energon you're going to have to scrap fusion mace after the battle just, you're going to have to scrap the card because you're going to get attack of one and pierce four. All right. Uh, if he's wearing Energon, Energon is key. Fusion Mega Shot, we're almost done. Uh, Fusion Mega Shot, uh, another Megatron looking card. Uh, white, white Pip with the Decepticon symbol and Black Pip. So it's an aggressive util upgrade utility with bold one and plus one in defense. So, while this is on a Megatron with a weapon equipped and you play an action card for turn, this is like Fusion Flame, okay? He has Pierce 1 for each upgrade in his armor slot for battle. So, yeah, I guess you could, if you wanted to, have a Fusion Mega Shot in his utility, uh, but he's extra measures in his armor, another utility um, in his utility slot and three extra paddings in his armor slot that would be four armors that'd be pierce four as long as the fusion mega shot is already on him and then you play an action card for turn okay um, so the, the cards like these cyberverse cards that I made like this this needs to go on first the action gets played next and then that then that gets triggered if you do it backwards, it doesn't, I mean, your opponent's going to have to be nice and go, yeah, it's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, but you're supposed to do the upgrade first, the action uh, it triggers the, the text, uh, other than just getting the bold one and the def defensive one. So Fusion Mega Shot's got a lot going for it. 
Um, I think it's okay. I don't think it warrants a star. Um, and and I did not. It, it, I did make it a rare card. And I don't say that it gets scrapped. Uh, do not say that it gets scrapped because we have so many cards that can scrap upgrades. And in your deck, you need to have some sort of card that can scrap an upgrade, even if it's just vaporize. You just three vaporizes along with everything else. Um, grand finale. We're going to end with this. The grand finale. Uh, and I've changed this up a little too. It's a white orange pit. Utility. It's a star card with plus one to attack, plus one to defense. When you put this on an Omega Supreme, <laughs> Taco Omega Supreme, your opponent scraps all equipped upgrades. All equipped upgrades. Um, which is bigger than Vandalize. Now, Vandalize is an orange pip card that will take off all upgrades from one of your characters opponent's characters. Grand Finale scraps all equipped upgrades off your opponent's characters. Yep, I just heard something. It could be the, the lost lizard that we have stuck in here too. Um, I hate this door. Anyway, uh, and I don't hate very much. Uh, so that's going to happen if you put this on an Omega. It can go on anybody. So it's a nice utility, starred utility, to get plus one to attack and plus one to defense. From the utility side, as a white and orange pip card. After the equipped character battles, then KO this card. Even if it's not on Omega. But you put this on Omega Supreme, you can scrap all your characters upgrades that's what we were just talking about this game is not just you winning the game it's also an upgrade war which is the key part of this game on top of the main engine of flipping for attack and flipping for battle i think that's why i'll really in of all the card games i've tried to tickle myself with okay that came out wrong um tried to get involved with or try to learn this one is the only one that seemed to make sense and it seems it seems very technically satisfying at the same time it just happened to be transformers uh, and simple enough for me to understand um, so we're going to stop right there at grand finale and I'm almost at 30 minutes so better for it so what do you think uh, we just went over 17 plus cards because we mentioned a few other cards not in this list like extra measures and energon and something else so more to come oh my gosh more to come i've been really uh, i'm more than waist deep in base cards um more than waist deep in base cards which those are coming too i need to get back to undisclosed my undisclosed uh chapter characters um i'm ha i may have to heavens i hope not redo one of my water tanks um, because I have uh, something has happened and I, I've, I feel like I've, lo I've lost an image or two and I don't know where or how it's, it's strange so and I think it's water bolt maybe even catwalk but I gotta find them again um, so that's kind of why I've stalled on the undis undisclosed chapter of course I was working on them we got um, and the Power Masters fi finished. We got through them and finished th them. Uh, and then we also, you know, we got through the Demicons, revealed them finally. I uh, got, we got Skylinks out there for you to try to, to play with. And remember, the correct Skylinks has 24 health, not 22, not 25, uh, 24. Uh, the Demicons, I might need to go over maybe one last time. I did one slight one alteration that I may have to go back and change again because I think their health at 37 is okay and I think I know how to do them a little better I'm just gonna have to do just a little bit of text erasing um, to where 
the total on the field is 35. Once they're combined, they're going to be 37, and you don't have to worry about remembering to repair two when they combine. Uh, so I think that's going to be the key there. So, which makes more sense, and they're just so fun to play with. They really are. If you haven't checked out my Demicons, I, I, I need to fix them one last time. Um, so, Clamort, Cremash, and Crossside, all total 35. Uh, I'm dropping Clamort and Cremash down one health each. So their total, when they're all on the field, is 35. But when you combine into Cronus, it's still 37. I'm going to erase that verbiage on repairing too. That's going to fix that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. This has been fun. It's like been a whole job to itself. Um, a whole job to itself. And so if you've been sticking out with me, thanks so much. Because I'm not the other guys, I'll admit. Um, my, my cards are not as tight as theirs. They test and test and test and test before they release anything. Of course, I've even heard Dan Arnold say, hey, if you see any mistakes, let us know so we can fix it. So even their quality control doesn't quite catch everything. And um, when Buddy and I were still communicating, his girl was actually helping to catch stuff as well uh and now it's just all me now it's just all me uh so we'll see you next time so much more to come and as always have a great day have a blessed day and autobots let's flip out and let's roll for it it's hot <laughs>